How's it going guys? Uh, this is Outdoor Expenture here. Um, today I kind of wanted to work on a, another project on the FJ, uh, specifically working on relocating my breathers. Now this is a 2014 FJ Cruiser. Uh, the factory did include breathers. Um, I already did the rear diff. We're not talking about the rear diff today. That's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of videos on that. What I haven't found a lot on uh, YouTube um, was doing the uh, or actually not doing but transferring or elongating the lines for the transfer case the transmission and the front diff and the locker for the front diff uh, Toyota um, did do um, all of those that I just named um, and they have located them in the engine bay the transmission and the transfer case are actually located uh, to the rear of the engine just above the uh, bell housing of the transmission um, I just feel like it's still a little bit too low. I wanted to get the breathers as high up as possible. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm trying to get them up into the engine bay. Um, I do my rear diff um, um, breather is actually relocated to the gas cap. I, I didn't vent it into the car. Um, I figure if I'm in water deeper than my gas cap, I probably have other problems I need to worry about other than pulling in some water to my, uh, my differential. So I think that's fine. I'm leaving that alone. Uh, maybe I'll do a video of that and let me know um, down below in the comments if you want to see a video of how I did it. But there's a lot of information out there. And like I said, there wasn't much information on doing the transfer case and the front diff uh, for the FJ. Um, again, in some FJs from my research, the breathers were actually located on the transmission itself. No hose, just the little, um, here I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, one of these guys, one of these guys, uh, from what I could tell, was just sitting right on top of the um, of the transmission itself. Um, but like I said, uh, at least in the 2014, they did run remote lines. Um, it's just for me, it's a little bit too low, in my opinion. Um, and again, there's these guys up in the front uh, for the front diff, located right behind the battery next to the. Uh, the oil fill neck. Um, I'm gonna put them all in one central location and I'll show you which product I used. Um, it's a Amazon, I, I guess you'd call it a knockoff. It's not a name brand, it's a off brand. Uh, about half the price. Uh, it looks like it's just like the name brand. It's a breather for goodness sakes. <laughs> I don't think there's much uh, that can really go wrong with it. But uh, I'll cut in some video a little bit later of the product I used um, but right now I'll kind of show you where I found the lines now I did get started a little bit earlier um, I did kind of break one of the brackets that holds the uh, the lines to the the back of the engine I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get that back in but hopefully um, if I connect or zip tie the lines enough around the engine that won't be a problem so uh, without further ado, let's climb under the truck and I'll show you first where the transmission and the transfer case breather is located. Okay. All right, so what we have here, we're down underneath the FJ. Now, just for reference, I am underneath the truck on the passenger side and the camera is actually pointing towards the front of the vehicle. Pointing this way is the rear of the vehicle. Here's your transmission bell. If you're familiar with the transmission pan. Um, so basically the engine bay for reference is directing right towards where my fingers uh, pointing right there that direction okay now what you want to do is if you look back you'll see your oxygen sensor for the passenger side um, exhaust you'll see a few electrical connectors in the back here and let me see if I could I don't know if I can be able to get this but if you reach up here you could see the not that one these two lines you see the wiggling right there this is the breather lines for the transfer case and the transmission. Like I said, I already disconnected it through it, uh, where it's secured at the top of the bell housing, kind of where the tip of my finger is. I already undid that through the top of the engine bay. It's gonna be, you probably can't do it from below. You gotta do it laying on top of your engine, reaching back to get to it. Undo those two clips that are holding the hose in. And then uh, you wanna just kind of slowly work this way through. And like I said, I already loosened it, so it should come out kind of easy. Here we go. And here it is. So these are the breathers, again, for the transfer case and the transmission. Um, they are 
obviously uh, originating from the translocation transmission and then they connect together bound together by a clip and this is what you'll find uh, when you look through the top of the engine bay um, I was gonna fish uh, use some fish tape hold on I got a little something on the screen I was gonna use fish tape to, to get the line through to the bottom but Mason's here Hi. Mason's here he's uh, here helping me um, he went underneath the truck um, I fed the line through and he's able to pull the hose all the way through um, so basically what I'm gonna use is this guy now I know this is overkill and go ahead and flame me in the comments below but uh, if you know me I kind of like to overdo things and um, I could have used a T but I decided to do this because I didn't know what sizes I was gonna use but basically I have two eighth inch um, barbs coming out where the transfer case and the transmission lines are gonna go to and then on this end I have a quarter inch barb uh, going into a, a brass T fitting and uh, that quarter inch line is gonna go up to the main breather component um, where the other lines are gonna join into underneath the engine bay um, but if you take a look hold on let me just show you for a second if you take a look you'll see the uh, quarter quarter inch line I use just regular rubber quarter inch fuel line hose uh, from Amazon and then you could see the transmission and transfer case to the breathers there I'm gonna put the Union um, that I put together in between those two leading out to one quarter inch line underneath the engine bay um, and that should uh, do it for the bottom the top should be a lot easier because I can access that so the hardest part was getting underneath there and uh, getting those two breather lines getting those two breather lines up towards the top for part two of daddy's working part guys um, here are the uh, breathers for the um, see if I can get in there and you can see it you can see the the valves there these are the breathers for the uh, front diff and the uh, locker there's two lines you can see the both of them there and I plan on running the hose I actually have the hose already running through here to the manifold and um, all I'm gonna do is again make a connection using this brass fitting uh, into those two lines and they're going to run into this manifold uh, right over here. This right here is, uh, I guess you'd call it the Amazon Special. I don't even know the brand, uh, but uh, the label says IFJF, whatever that means. But you can find these again. Just uh, look up, um, I guess, uh, Transmission Breather on Amazon, and you'll, you'll come across it. Now, there's another popular name. Um, actually, there's one that looks exactly like this made by ARB. The ARB unit, if I remember correctly, is uh, 79 bucks for this. Uh, this particular one on Amazon was $39, and I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's a breather. It just vents the crankcase or the transfer case and, and everything else, so there's, there's not much to it. <laughs> um, it does have four uh, ports. You can see I added a 90-degree elbow on either side. And then if you, it's hard to kind of tell, but back here on the manifold, you can see right there, it comes with two plugs and you can add an additional two separate lines to this for a total of four lines to this breather. And uh, all it is is just a, a breather cover. Let me see if I try not to lose it here, but it comes with the breather cover. It comes with a sintered, a sintered brass filter. Get that in focus. Uh, this helps to keep water out but lets uh, the gases breathe and then there's the opening right through there which leads to my breather lines um, which I almost have all connected so again it's there's not much to it it, it just vents the air to the atmosphere um, and that's pretty much it I don't expect this thing to fail but we'll kind of see what happens um, 
as we go along as it's exposed to heat uh, from the engine. Um, and this bracket right here, this L bracket, I fabricated the bracket. Um, I also fabricated this, and if you know uh, Forerunners and FJs, uh, this is the factory uh, fuse panel right underneath here. I fabricated this mounting plate um, that attaches to a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolt towards here and the 10 millimeter bolt right here. The reason why I did that is I wanted to run my uh, control box for my uh, winch underneath the engine bay instead of finding a place to mount it. Uh, I have a DeMello front bumper. Uh, I guess you could squeeze it in there, but I just wanted it to, to be accessible up here. Uh, this does have wireless capabilities, so I can connect wired or I can run it uh, wireless. Um, so it's actually a great thing. It's a Smitty Belt uh, 10,000 pound um, X2O winch. So this is my control box for the winch and uh, that's why I mounted this plate um, right in this location. And I found this place to be good. I was actually gonna originally mount the, the breather right up somewhere in this area, which probably would have been best because the water is not gonna get really all too much that point. I know some of you might disagree where I put it because water can technically kind of come up to here but like I said if I've got water where this thing's sucking in all, all of that uh, liquid then um, I probably have other problems to deal with other than worrying about my my uh, differentials and my transmission sucking in any kind of liquid I got other problems going on okay um, I don't know if you remember um, hold on just a second here I don't know if you guys remember, I did do a, um, a Mojave road trip. We did it in two parts, but the first year we did it, um, we did the Afton Canyon side, so we took the Mojave road backwards. Um, I did get the FJ uh, in through the Mojave River, and that year it was quite deep. Um, I think that, well, the water did actually start coming into the cab of the FJ. Um, didn't quite come over the hood when I first entered the water. Probably took it too fast and, the, and it did come over the hood. But like I said, this location where the, um, the breather is going to be, I, I doubt it's going to really suck in any water. The way this cap is designed, uh, I don't know, it's probably hard to tell, but there's a little bit of a lip so that if any water were to splash on this thing, it actually will vent or channel through. See if I can get there. It'll channel through this little space right around here and lets the water drain out the bottom versus letting the water in through the um, through the the um, intake outtake. I don't know what you want to call it, but um, so it's designed pretty well, and I think it's gonna pretty much do what I need it to do. All right, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Uh, finish the install. It's pretty straightforward. Again, you're just extending the lines. Um, again, I, that, that, uh, IPJF, I think it's called that, uh, breather, uh, should perform well. Um, it looks like it's pretty good quality. The, the, the manifold is machined and anodized aluminum. Um, the plastic looks as durable as anything I've ever seen. So, um, should be pretty uneventful. Um, again, if you have any questions, be sure to leave some comments, um, down at the bottom. If you like what you see and you want to see more content, let me know again in the comments. Like, subscribe to the channel. Again, it's Outdoor Adventure. Outdoor underscore adventure. Okay, guys. Um, until the next episode, we will see you soon.